All right. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, if you're here for my talk, just try maybe to come a little bit closer, so, you know, unless you're all there for the bar. <laughs> Uh, so the title of my talk is Managing Vendor Prepayment Effortlessly. Uh, my name is Stefan Keller, I'm the CEO of Sodexis. And before I start the talk, just let me tell you a little bit about Sodexis. So uh, we've been an Odoo partner since 2012, and we really help manufacturing and distribution companies across the US and Europe to improve their efficiency by implementing the EODU ERP solution with the highest return on investment possible. So really our primary goal is to help our customer go through the implementation process successfully. And so actually to better serve our European customers, we just opened an office in Geneva, Switzerland. Okay? Uh, at this point we have about 40 employees and we really have all the roles needed for a successful implementation. So we have business analyst team, development team, system admin team. We even have a bookkeeper, okay, in case you need help with the accounting. And so we really can help you at any level that you need. We have helped you know, very small companies that do not have any uh, you know, IT department, and then we do it all. But we have also helped very large companies that are you know, for which we just provide the, the missing information, okay? All right. So this, this talk is going to be very simple. This is a very simple app, okay? Uh, and actually, if you know how the down payment, uh, you know, on the customer side happen, it's exactly the same thing, but on the, on the purchase, you know, side. And so I'll go very quickly, okay? I know it's late and, uh, you know, we, you all had already a lot of information, okay? So introduction, so you, know, you probably know that already you know, Odoo provides the option to accept down payment from customers. So instead of declaring a revenue when you receive the customer payment, you move the amount to a liability account because at that time you have not shipped the item yet. Okay? Then when you create the final invoice after shipping the item to the customer, then the down payment is moved from the liability, the liability account to a revenue account. So this is actually typically used for uh, products that are set up with invoicing policy of a delivered quantity. You can also set it up with products that are set up with ordered quantity, but it's less useful. And so actually, uh, like you know, for all of our apps, we you know it's always based on our customer need. Uh, we had several customers that had the same need on the vendor side. And although you, know, you could manage that manually, okay, uh, just entering uh, basically vendor bills manually and then keeping track of what was the prepayment of that vendor, uh, you know, it's much easier to, to use this little app and uh, take care of that. Okay? All right, so let me go to the demo. So just to remind you, uh, I'll first show it on the sales order side. So here I already uh, pre-created a sales order uh, with a product that uh, you know, has the invoicing policy based on the, on the delivered quantity. I'll just confirm it. And um, um, at, that, at this point, you can create the invoice. And by default, Odoo will select the down payment. So you can enter the percentage. That's pretty easy. And create and view the invoice. You'll confirm the invoice. And then, you know, if you want, you know, whenever you receive, you know, you have received the payment from the customer, so you can enter that as well. You can go back to the sales order. Uh, one thing I'll point out is that uh, if you look at uh, the invoice status at this point, nothing uh, is available to be invoiced, even though on the, the sales order line, you'll have a down payment, which is, you know, as an invoice policy based on the ordered quantity. So Odoo knows that this is the product that's being used for down payment, therefore the invoicing policy stays uh, with nothing to invoice because nothing has been delivered yet. And so if I then go to the delivery order and I'll ship the item to the customer and go back to the sales order, and at this point you'll be able to create the final invoice, so regular invoice, but you know, you're gonna deduct the down payment, okay? When you create and view the that you know, uh, final invoice, you'll see that Odoo automatically deducts the down payment. Okay, and I didn't mention it uh, you know precisely before, but 
you know, when the, the original invoice was created, uh, you know, the account that was used is the, in, you know, the income account that's defined on the product, okay? In this case, I just set it up with a down payment, which is a liability account, okay? All right? So that's, uh, you know, the Odoo base code for uh, the down payment on the customer side. And as I said, we did exactly the same thing on the purchase order side. And so uh, let me go there. Again, I created um, a purchase. No, I'll just duplicate this, actually. Yeah. All right. So here, you know, uh, I have a vendor, wood corner, and again, I have the same product uh, where the billing uh, 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 rule is set up on the you know, receive quantity. I'll confirm the order. At that time, we showed the create vendor bill, which by default will not be there, okay, in Odoo base code. And, you know, by default, it will offer you to create the down payment or the prepayment, I'll say 50%. That creates the vendor bill. I'll no notice that here, uh, the account that's used uh, is, for, no, the, the account for the accounting that is being used is uh, the expense account that's set up on the product. And in this case, we select a prepayment account, okay? And that prepayment account is like an asset account, which means that when you prepay that, you know, instead of being an expense, it goes into, you know, an asset account. Because you basically, you prepaid something that you have not received yet, okay? So it's not considered uh, as an expense yet. So if I go uh, then confirm this, ah, I forgot. <laughs> Always forgetting the build date. All right, save that. I confirm that. And then of course you'll pay that vendor bill. And then I can go back to the purchaser and exactly like on the customer side, this add a line on the purchase order, you know, uh, on the purchase order uh, with that purchase prepayment uh, product and thereby indicating that you, know, you pay half of it already, okay? And notice that uh, it takes the tax into account. So it actually, when you, you know, enter 50% of the vendor of the, of the purchase order, uh, it took the tax into account. So you also, you know, you're also going to pay half of the tax at that time. Right? Um, and so uh, then I'll go and receive the product. So now you receive the product. I'll validate that. And if I go back to the purchase order, at that point, uh, the system will tell me that it's waiting a bill, even though before that, you know, it would say that nothing is uh, you know, uh, uh, ready to be built yet. Okay, at this point, it shows that you know, it's waiting a bill and then I'm able to create a vendor bill. By default, it will offer you know, to create a vendor bill with the billable lines and to deduct the down payment. So we'll do that. And then again, exactly like on the customer side, uh, we'll take out you know, the prepayment that uh, you know, was done before. Okay? So this is much easier to use and to keep track, of course, okay, instead of uh, having an Excel spreadsheet somewhere that tells you what are, what are the prepayment that you did and to make sure that you keep track of it when you create the final, you know, the final vendor bill, Odoo now with this little app you know, is taking care of that for you and keeps track of everything. So if I go back to my presentation. Okay, so really, uh, as announced, this module lets you, it's a simple module, but it lets you manage vendor prepayments easily. So Obviously, if you're doing a lot of prepayment, it's a must-have. It's available on the App Store for V12, V13, V14, and V15, okay? Um, I'll mention that we have a lot more apps. Some of them are on the App Stores, not all of them. Uh, we have a credit management app, if you're interested in that, although, you know, uh, Odoo added that in V16, so obviously that app is going to become obsolete at some point. We have also an app to do finance charge. Uh, we have an app that lets you manage you know, credit card payment in the back end. You know, it's all integrated with, uh, sorry, it's all integrated with uh, you know, Odoo Authorized.net module, but it enables you to manage everything uh, uh, on the back end. We have a return management module. 
Uh, we have a module to manage Avatax exemptions in Odoo. Uh, we have a, a subcontracting module, which is a little bit more advanced than uh, you know, what Odoo is doing uh, out of the box. We have uh, shipping terms. We have an import app. Uh, we also have an import scripts app. Uh, we have an app that checks the availability up till today plus end days instead of you know, checking the availability for you know, all the delivery orders. And we have many more, OK? As I said, uh, some of them are on the app stores, not all of them. Uh, there's another one that I'll talk about on uh, Friday. That one will be a little bit more advanced. Uh, so if you're interested in the, an EDI app, uh, I encourage you to come to that talk. It's uh, easily transform XML documents into Odoo documents. That's Friday at 9.30 in uh, Mezzanine 2000, OK? Uh, and that's it. Uh, please visit us at our booth. And also, we have open position for business analysts, both in the US and Switzerland, if you're interested. Okay. Thank you. Do you have uh, any questions? Yeah. yeah? yeah it, it looks like a great app. Uh, it's really missing in Odoo, I think. But when it's uh, available in 16, uh, do you think? Uh, as soon as our development team has some time to work on it. <laughs> or if you want to sponsor it, you know, that's going to go much faster. Any other question? If not, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>